What's going on YouTube is Donnie V all day. I'm bringing you another knife today and this isn't the typical knife I bring you. This is a real piece of crap but it's a good piece of crap for what I use it for. This thing is the Fantasy Master King Cobra. Oh yeah look at that three millimeters thick. <laughs> it's as it's as wide as a fingernail tip. Holy crap, that's thin. This thing is 11 inches overall. It's got a five and a half inch blade. And it is pure sub $10. So here we are. Now, I've been dealing with some frost knives that are around that same price range. But at least those things are real knives. Not to say that this isn't a real knife, because for what this thing is made for, it's a fantasy dagger. Um, I guess it'll get the job done, because literally, this thing is made to be able to fight with, right? So you should be able to swing blows. Checkmate. Got that. You should be able to hit with the rear. Checkmate. Got that. You should be able to hit with the front. Checkmate. Got that. The thing is, it's very limited. This is going to be great for going through, you know, tissue, cutting through skin, going through somebody's gear, things like that. But I have a feeling that if I try to baton with this or do anything crazy, um, I'm going to damage it. However, I feel that just by what the knife is, I feel that there's still a purpose beyond fighting a human being with this thing. And I think that you can still use this as a knife. Now, I don't see myself breaking it. Obviously, it's one solid piece. What I do see happening is I see some of the some of the uh, the coating come off. It's just a black paint. I can see it um, not holding an edge very well. I can see it dulling, um, but I can still see it being a knife. So, if any of you have watched my video of my you know what I keep with me at all times in my car. This is one of those things that's always in my car, right? Um, and the reason is, is because if something goes down and some idiot needs a work over on the road, this is exactly the kind of knife that's going to get that kind of job done. Forward or reverse, it's going to work. Um, and here's the thing, is if something does happen, not saying it's going to, but if something ended up happening where self-defense came into play and some dude came out of his car with a bat well i'll tell you what i'll take you hand to hand if you got a bat i don't care but this is just a little bit better so but the good thing is if i use it it's sub ten dollars this is one of those throw it in a river and never see it again knives and you don't care because this is like a nine dollar knife online i think it's like 8.95 but the main question is is a fantasy master still a knife or is it just one of those cool pieces that you get the little stand for and use it as a collectible well we're gonna find that out now it is cord wrapped right the sheath it did have a um, it did have a strap right you could see the button on it um, but the strap really sucked it went through the finger hole and it um, and then when you opened it and you pulled the blade out, the actual edge was just right on it. I mean, just bad. So it uh, it had to come off. And, and besides that, the, the sheath does a good enough job of holding it in. You can see that. If, I'm, if it's on a belt, which I don't see why you'd ever carry this on a belt, but look at that. It's not going anywhere. This is a uh, really good piece, an emergency piece to have in a car. The only thing I've ever used this for was um, I opened up some letters and stuff, and that's it. I've never used this for anything real. That's why the coating on there is relatively still on there. The only coating that's coming off is at the tip and at the at the rear here, and that's just from in and out of the sheath. That's not from working it. So, really good coating, right? But let's see what this bad boy can handle, all right? All right, so first up, we're gonna check this thing's edge. We're gonna give it the old water bottle test. Before I do that, I wanna see if I can actually pull some hairs. And uh, I mean, it's sharp, 
believe me, it's it's pretty damn sharp, and I am I am getting some hair here. Actually, I'm getting a quite a bit of hair. Uh, I don't know if you could see it all on there, but we have a shave sharp blade, not only out of the box, but used for very remedial things over the last year, and uh, that's not bad. A year owned, barely used, but a year owned and still shave sharp so I have great confidence in the water bottle test and not just great confidence but man coming through this bottle it went through easy and this thing just dropped straight down that means there was no drag there was no push I, I freaking sliced the bottle I didn't launch the bottle and as far as the edge is concerned so far fantasy master King Cobra has done the job that gives me great confidence knowing that whew, if you got a somebody coming at you an attacker and you need to go through skin this thing will go through some skin all right so we know the sharpness of the edge is really good it's a sharp sharp edge but let's check out the uh, durability of the edge now <laughs> i have to say right away that man just doing some nice wrist flicks, which is how you want to chop. This thing is removing wood quite easily. Now, the problem is it's three millimeters thick, and you can't really adjust your hands too much because of the, the finger holds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and drop a few fingers in there. And what that does, being it, since it's arched, it really puts pressure on points where you don't want it. However, it's still going to allow me because I could grip my finger in here to hold on to the blade and get a good swing. Now remember, chopping like this isn't always as effective as doing short little, short little motions. I gotta go up one finger. Holding it too low is just jacking up my fingers. And here it is, guys. This thing, this thing is chopping. It is freaking chopping, but Here's the deal. Let's check out this edge, man. All right, so I can see right away. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in there. But the edge is definitely marred up a little bit. Not to the point where, yeah, I don't know, you can get some, some, you're not getting some thumbnails in there or anything. But you can definitely see there are marks on the very edge and all that means is it's not staying as sharp as it was before I started that so uh, let's continue here all right so here we are at the stump we're gonna do a drop test and we're gonna see how the balance of this knife is from up above I don't obviously obviously is the real word I don't obviously um, need to check so much on um, scale loosening because there is none so let's go give it a four foot drop here not too bad now remember this is three millimeters thick so if you think i'm gonna be prying with this you're pretty freaking thick too all right so let's try that one more time and that could be user error so let's try it one more time and it drops dead straight i think when it missed it's because where I had my hand, it probably just caught on the uh, on the on the uh, wrapping as it went down. So it's it's pretty well balanced. Now let's check this spike here. All right? It's not bad. I mean, it works if if that's a dome, right? You're gonna get through that head uh, head pretty easy. See? I mean, that's not bad at all. So I gotta give props. A little spike on the end and let's see how this uh how this paint job's holding up it's definitely i doubt you're gonna see it maybe but the paint is definitely wearing off a bit however the spike doing the job let's see if we can't dig this in a little bit here now remember it's three millimeters thick so your knuckles are gonna get jacked up a little bit and um <laughs> i mean the good thing about three millimeters thick it's three millimeters thin and three millimeters thin means you are getting very, very good bite, and uh, you're going to be able to get a blade in pretty deep. So, um, man, not too shabby. Let's see how we do against 
the uh, vacuum cleaner hose here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, I gotta say, guys, vacuum cleaner hose test, hard rubber. This thing is going right through it. So let's open it up a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. I just want to bing, bing, bing. Guys, this is this knife was $8.95. I just slice and diced vacuum cleaner hose with it. Let's check the edge. It's in the same condition it was after chopping, which means it's actually not bad, right? Holy crap. Um, I didn't expect it to be, uh, I didn't expect it to hold up as well as it, as it is. So let's see if we can't chop up some rope here. Well, you can see, you can, and I even pushed it into the freaking stump. That's not bad. I want to get a nice thick piece where it's still all wound up. And holy crap, guys, that, uh, that is as good as any expensive knife that is as clean a cut as you can get knocking off these strands again let's check the edge and i'm telling you it still looks exactly the same and really all the marring it it's it's only on one side and, I, and marring is the only word i can come up with but what it is is it, it looks like chips but it's not chips you know what i mean like if you look at the edge you can see that pretty silver tone all the way through. Where on this side, you got that silver tone, but then black spots. So it might not even be marring. I, I, I mean, I don't know what it is. Could be just color in, inside the edge. I have no idea. But that grind is picking up little black dots on one side. No idea what it is. Don't know why. But what I do know is that this thing is holding up so far. Let's keep going. All right, let's keep going. And uh, after doing what we did, pounding on some stuff, chopping some stuff, let's test the edge. And uh, what makes it hard, you have to use your thumb on it because what I did is I tried coming here and by the time I get about three quarter of the way through my cut, the curve, the insane curve this blade takes effect and it's got that Arabian sweep to it, it just sends it off. So I'm not getting a, a good cut all the way through because it wants to curl. I literally have to turn the knife and try to get it straight. I'm doing that, I'll tell you what, I am removing wood. Um, you know, it, it, it's one of those things where sometimes you just get surprised by something. You know, you expect it to, to do one thing or react a certain way and instead man it acts like a knife it acts like a knife look at how pretty this is so let's uh let's keep this going here it is making some pretty little i'm knocking them all off but you see that curl right there that's all that's happening it's just those it's just sweet Let's see if I can get them all to stay. If not, it doesn't matter because I'll show you what we could do with them anyway. And it looks like we're getting it. These are some tight, tight curls. I just lost a bunch. Look at that. Guys, I'm telling you, you need some feather sticking done. You want to catch a spark on here to get a stick going. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Let's see if we can't get a nice little notch in there. Tent for like a, a tent post or a bowstring and the notch comes pretty easy it comes pretty pretty easy now remember it is a round blade so you have to work the edges a little bit but bam so let's do that lincoln log notch which is a square notch everybody knows that i call it a lincoln log notch because well lincoln logs have square notches so if you haven't figured that out by now watching my channel here's your foam helmet because you are doo -doo -doo. all right so square notch guys this thing eight dollars and 95 cents online you can look it up right freaking now and you're gonna see this thing that's making good square notches that's shaving good wood <laughs> that's chopping that's cutting through water bottles that's freaking doing everything i expect of it. it's cutting twine cutting hard rubber doing everything and still it's a fighting knife 
it's a fighting knife. That's it, a self-defense fighting knife. The spike works, the blade works. What I wanna do is test the, um, the actual knuckles on it. So what I'll do is I'll de-ring myself and um, we're gonna go punch some wood. All right, so let's go do that. All right, so what I did is I took off the ring. I put the, uh, the knife up a little higher on the knuckles. And what we wanna do is we wanna see if this thing is going to be able to cause blunt force. And by the sound you hear, wow, and the dents it's making, three millimeters means it's gonna make a nice little dent, right? And I'll tell you what, it's doing the job, man. I'm not hurting my fingers at all. I doubt you can see this, but right in here, there's all these little lines. Whew, man. Man. I'll tell you what, if I hit it even harder, it's going to make an even bigger dent. And I'm not damaging my fingers in any way, guys. I want to see if I can get this damn thing off me. And I want to see if I can show you. Come with me. I'm Donny B. Okay, so... Let's see, right here is really what I want to show you. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Maybe you guys can see it. Those huge ass dents right there, that's from me pounding away. <laughs> um, I really try to keep these things like PG, you know what I mean? But sometimes it happens. Um, but here's the thing, guys. It does the job. Bop! You need to hit somebody, they're gonna feel it. You need to hit somebody with a spike. They're really going to feel it. This end right here, however, whoo, doggy. I'll tell you what. That thing right there, so far, is more of a knife than I gave it credit for. And this thing has sat in my car since I bought it. It hasn't gone anywhere. Let's talk one thing about this design, though. See this little cut right here? I don't know if this is supposed to be, like, used for anything or if it's just a fantasy hold because if you think of it as, like, some kind of choil, I don't know what human can comfortably get their finger in there. I mean, I have really big hands, so I'm going by by me. However, if you have smaller hands, I bet you, you'd be able to get a, a finger in there pretty comfortably. See, even my pinky, I mean, I, get, I don't see what purpose it would serve. I think it's just a design thing. I don't think it's made to be a bottle opener or any crazy thing. I'm assuming you can rip, but with the um, with that big curve on there, I don't see what you're gonna be able to get in to do that with so i don't know i don't know what that's for i don't really care let's keep going all right as you see before me we have a one inch forest tree so uh let's uh shave that down a little bit so you can actually see what's happening here i want to get to the stock right to the to the trunk of this big tree so let's see here well that was kind of easy well that was kind of easy well, you get the message. That's pretty freaking easy, right? I mean, you look at all this brush I need to knock down. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, it's just mowing it, mowing it down. And, I mean, if I need an emergency machete, look at that, right through the one-inch forest tree, right through some of this brush. This is uh, not too shabby as far as that's concerned. I can get a lot more done with this than I ever expected. I didn't think the steel, especially this edge, was going to hold up as well as it's holding up doing what I'm doing. So let's, uh, ooh, I got an idea. Well, we, we found out that even though it's not a chopper, it chops. Even though it's not a machete, it machetes. Even though it's not a uh, utility knife, it cuts through rubber, it's not a skinner. Let's see if it'll skin. Here we have a nice soccer ball. And I have to say, it doesn't skin as nicely as the skinners I use do. But the fact that it's skinning, um, that tells you something, guys. The knife so far is, has been a do-all. Um, I didn't baton with it, but it's because I'm not a freaking idiot. It's three millimeters thick. Batoning with it, you are going to get some serious warps. Um, however, if you use it, in a, in a pretty gentle fashion um, you might not need to baton because you can get your small pieces of wood cut in other ways with this knife but um, that's not what I want to do I want to do one more thing when I say one more thing you guys already know where I'm going with it so it's not like I have to announce it um, we're gonna throw this thing 
Now, the, the thing is it's round, you know what I mean? It's shaped like this, and it's got like a nice recurve on the top, but trying to figure out how to throw it, this might take us a minute. So uh, let's go five yards here. Oh, that hit the tip. That hit the tip. I uh, hit it at an angle though, so let's try that again. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> I am Donny B all day and I like to throw knives you could see the paint coming off on that tip there um, but honestly who cares so I think what I might do is I might throw this some more sometime I might just pull it out randomly and give it some chucking because that first one hit the tip but I think I hit it at an angle and um, it didn't bend the tip which is surprising um, and that second one I mean I just felt the way I needed to grab it I mean it, I just felt it and uh that thing flew really straight so let's uh let's go to the rack well guys here it is once again i jumped the gun i thought it was going to be a piece of crap i expected it not to do well in testing however this eight dollar 95 cent fantasy master king cobra it spit in my face it said hell no i'm not useless this thing can do everything it's made to do. Everything it's made to do, and we know what that is. But oddly enough, this thing does a lot more, and it does it pretty well. It's an efficient blade. Um, it's not a great knife. Do not let me uh, get you to think this is some kind of great knife. It's a great survival knife. However, if this is the knife I had on me, and I was in a survival situation, I would not be die this thing can get the freaking job done for eight dollars and 95 cents get out of here so now the thing that surprised me the most i have to say isn't that the edge held up or isn't that the tip didn't bend or isn't that i still have coating on there which i am surprised there's still that much coating on there it's right here none of that loosened Normally, when you're talking about a very cheap knife, uh, if you have some kind of cord-wrapped handle, that's the first thing to go. The cords begin to unravel, they get loose, they shift, this and that. That stayed on there very, very nicely. So I'm pretty excited. This thing's going back in my car. It's going to stay in my car, and it's going to be what it is. But... I know now that I can use it for more things so if I'm out and about and this is the knife I have with me I'll tell you what even though I have my case caliber in the car I have this thing that can do bigger jobs than the case can handle and uh, I'm pretty happy about that so fantasy master King Cobra not too shabby I'm Donnie B all day and until next knife